Skygirls, I hope you are excited for the new year as I am. Welcome to Stay True Part by Sky Girls Z, a community of teen girls who know what their thing is and what's not their thing. I'm your host, Abigail. My thing is dancing, singing, and what's not my thing is sports and smoking. If you don't already follow us on our social media, please make sure you do for exclusive content and extended segments. So make sure to check that out on our YouTube channel at Sky Girls Z. Hey Sky Sisters, welcome back to another episode of Real Talk. My name's Tatiana, my thing's sushi and not my thing is vaping. My name is Leona and my thing is animals and not my thing is poaching. And on today's episode, we have a very interesting question that was sent to us by you guys and it reads, how can I navigate family relationships during my teenage years? How do you feel about relationships and how it's best for teenagers to navigate their way through them? Um, I do feel that it's very tricky for teenagers to communicate um, with families, especially in the family setting that we have um, in Zambia, in Africa. Um, our times have changed. Um, things are very different from when we were growing up. And um, there's a lot that our kids want to say to us and we should listen. So I would say encourage communication and to the kids, you know, give your parents patience and time as well. But I guess family isn't just your parents, you also have siblings. And unlike friends that you can pick, you can't pick your siblings, you come up with different personalities, some are loud, some are everywhere. So how do you navigate with your siblings? How do you create a place where I can't get rid of you, I must love you, and we must make this work? Yeah, very true. And I feel like since it's family, there's bound to be so much conflict every single time. I feel like Every day you usually fight with, with someone. Not directly, but indirectly, you kind of like fight with them and you have to find a way of resolving that conflict. I think finding a common ground and also seeing things from other pe your siblings' perspective in the same way your parents' perspective. Um, I, I used to look at my parents thinking they don't understand me, um, but now I'm a parent myself and I understand that my parents were only trying to do the best that they knew how at the time. So give your parents some grace, give your siblings some grace. Navigating relationships with your family in your teenage years can be tough, but it's possible to build a good relationship. Set some boundaries, find some common ground and have a good and honest relationship. It may be tough, but it's possible. Thank you so much for watching today, but right now from us, it's Bye! Huh, family. We love them, but sometimes, huh? Anyway, I agree with Auntie B. We just need to give everyone, including ourselves, some grace, yeah? And not to be so hard on each other. But what do you think? Share your thoughts with us on our social media platforms. If fashion is your thing, then Mulenga has the perfect challenge for you on Get The Look. Hi Sky Girls, my name is Mulenga Chileshe. My thing, good food, fashion, and chess. Not my thing, bullying, laziness, and smoking. Hi, my name is Tonga, I'm 18. My things are fashion, makeup, food, not my thing, smoking, jealousy, and lying. Hi, my name is Mary Kamwanga, I'm 17 years of age. My thing is food, family, and content. What's not my thing is bad vibes, bad energy, and envy. Today's theme is Afro body, and I'm assigning Tawanga and Mary to recreate the looks that I've given them in a budget of 500 kwacha in a time frame of one hour. My strategy is not to dress the best, but unique. My strategy is to go for like a story. So I was like, okay, Zambia, green. So I walk in Mangishi Do, and I find this really pretty two-piece jumpsuit, but I have a problem with the size. It's a little bit too big and I'm tiny. I walk into the store, I'm taken aback. Like there are a lot of pieces. I'm looking around for something else. I, I asked the sales girl for the price and she tells me it's a little bit out of the budget, so yeah. There's this one piece and it's beautiful. It's got yellow, greens. It's not really good in Zambia, not really working out of my plan. Most of the things that are there are kind of out of my budget. There's this other piece. I look at it, I love it. You literally look at it and think, Victoria Falls, Zambia flag, game plan. 
I just want to get one item from Mangishi though because I'm trying to limit my budget. And looking at the time, I'm panicking really. So now I'm done and I'm thinking it needs that extra vavoom. So jewelry, probably. Let's see what I can find. Okay, so now I finally find a very pretty jump shot and I really, really love it. There's no way I'm going to leave it. I get it, I pay for it, and now I'm thinking of something that's going to complement my outfit. Now, looking at this bracelet, I think it will go with my story, because it's a Zambian flag. So I'm in another store now. I'm now thinking of getting maybe some earrings. I see these pretty dark themed earrings. They look traditional, I love it. So now I'm finished. This outfit, I'm excited for the play suit, the earrings, the bracelet, it's all going to come together. So finally I'm done now and I've gotten what I wanted to get. I'm super satisfied about it because I just can't wait to like see how it's going to turn out. I love my outfit, like actually look at me, it's giving Zambia, it's giving Badi. Have you seen the hills? Like, oh my gosh, I love the outfit. And I think like I totally aced that theme completely. I think Tonga is a buddy when it comes to color flow. Can you see the green and green and the green? Yes, it's giving. I like the jumpsuit. The, the cut of the jumpsuit is really nice, it's playful. It's, it's giving, it's nice. I feel so confident about my outfit. I love every piece of it. I feel like I look so pretty and I feel like it defines who I am on the African side, yeah. Mary's jumpsuit is also cute, but the earrings, guys, did you see the, the earrings and the dot, dot, dot? Just to say I'm Afrocentric and I'm a buddy. Ah, these girls, they just came and they are giving 10 out of 10 and I really like both outfits. So let's see how I judge. Oh, even though they both really look great, they look cute. I think just the fact that Taonga put like her heritage in the in the look, the Zambian thingy. I think she took the day. She's the winner because you, you saw the bracelet. It was Zambian flag. She was saying I'm a Zambian buddy. So yeah, Taonga, you got it. This was really hard for me to do. So let us know who you think did better in the comments below. Ish, guys. Both looks were giving, but I did love the story that Taonga told with her clothes. This is what we mean when we say you can be expressive through fashion. If you rock the Afro body look, please share on our socials and who knows, we might feature you too. Now, we have a new segment that was suggested by some of our Sky Girls and we are super excited to introduce it. Becoming That Girl is all about learning about and from female role models on how they became who they are today. Their journey might inspire you and maybe have some lessons that you can apply in your life. Today, we talk to Sofia Chapeshaman. Hey, Sky Babes, welcome to Becoming That Girl, where we get to take a deep dive into the lives of some of our faves to get to know how they got to be who they are today. Today, I'm joined by the lovely Sofia Chapeshamano. Hi, Sofia. Hi, how are you? Fine, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me, it's a pleasure. Sofia Chapeshamano is an activist, actor, entrepreneur, and lawyer in the making. She has acted in multiple productions, most notably, she is known for her roles in Not My Family and Zambezi Magic's telenovela series, Zuba, and is a brand ambassador for Temweka Arms, a charity that supports children with neurological disorders. <laughs> so how did you get your breakout role in Zuba? Well, one of the people who was writing her and my mom knew each other mm -hmm. and she happened to ask my mom to say, look, I know Sophia does debates and whatnot, but do you think that she would be capable of acting? Mm -hmm. So she said, okay, um, there's this new show coming up. So do you think that maybe um, she can come through for an audition? And yeah, here I am oh, today. That's really <laughs> random. It is. <laughs> um, how do you balance studying law, um, acting and community work? How do these aspects complement each other in your life? So I think the number one thing is you need to know what you want. You need to have discipline and also just prioritizing. There's times when I know that, okay, I can't do this because I need to get this done. And you know that um, 
time you have to suffer a little bit more like other people will have the luxury to be chilling and doing whatever it is but because of the life that i have chosen i have literally chosen to say okay sometimes i just have to suffer like <laughs> okay so i heard you say in a radio interview that you have to be intentional about where you go and you don't have to worry about fomo how do you choose which events to attend and places to go to or things to do usually what i use as a criteria to judge where i can be and where i can't be is i always think like how would being at this event add value to my life who am i going to meet are there potential business opportunities are there any people who could maybe open certain doors for me like net for networking opportunities i don't go to events um just because i just want to be there like you just like <laughs> you just, you're you're not doing boss. anything <laughs> it's not you know growing up who are your role models and how did they influence your career journey um when it comes to the media industry i, I love bonang mateba i usually look up to strong black women uh -huh. yes because it's more relatable yeah <laughs> um for those inspired by your journey what advice would you have for pursuing multiple um passions you need to know what you want mm -hmm. i think i'll definitely say when you know your why that's what's going to keep you going going to be like i'm tired but i need this i want this but i know why i'm doing this so that's the most important aspect definitely this is the last question and i think this is going to be everyone's favorite question so what are your five tips on becoming sofia chapeshamano so It's a very funny thing to ask me <laughs> mm -hmm. because I don't want anyone to become Sofia Chapeshama no and you to be you and even be better. Number one, like I said, um don't change for anyone. Be who you are, stay true to yourself. Stay true yeah. to yourself, okay? <laughs> um make sure you have a support system. Start your day early and um also educate yourself on a lot of things don't be afraid to seek out knowledge keep educating yourself keep improving yourself mm -hmm. and i think number 5 confidence you just have to be so confident in yourself where by someone shouldn't say something about you and it ruins your whole day um those are some tips i definitely see myself implementing thank you so much for the advice sofia And to the sky girls watching I hope you guys have learned something as well from her and the tips that she's given remember be confident be confidence baby confidence, confidence. <laughs> thank you so much for watching bye bye That was just a snippet of Susie's conversation with Sophia so make sure to watch the full conversation on our YouTube channel subscribe and click on the bell to always be notified of new content Anyway, remember there is so much more to watch and engage with us on all our social media platforms. So make sure to like, follow and leave a comment on what you're loving so far. If you are a teen girl aged 13 to 19, you can join Sky Girls Z by going to our Facebook page or website to take the pledge. The pledge is a reminder to yourself to always stay true to yourself. You only have to take the pledge once to be part of our community where you have opportunities exclusive to Sky Girls Z like competitions, events and more. Until next time, bye. I pledge to be true to myself and what I believe in. I will trust my choices and I will not let anyone else determine who I am. Success, making friends and dancing, that's my thing. Jealousy, gossip and smoking, that's not my thing. I will make choices according to my character. I will rise to meet my sky.